Okay, I've got a uh, Kenmore uh, Model 19233 here, and this is a discontinued model, um, but it's the same thing as the Janome uh, 5100, I believe it is. And I wanted to kind of test it on some something heavy duty because I'm going to take it on the road with me to make some drapes for an in-law. And I've got a header with buckram in it here. And so we've got double pleats. And so when you sew through that, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six layers of it in all, uh, the way it's laid down right now. So it's pretty dense uh, stuff. And I put a size 18 needle in it. I usually use an industrial machine for sewing draperies. Anyway, so since they're going to be sewing uh, this style of a header, I thought I'd test it out real quick. And, uh, I was really amazed at how well it does. So let me get going here and I'll show you how it sews through it. Just effortlessly. Which kind of shocked me. I figured it'd have a little bit of trouble. Go back, do a tacking stitch, go back. Tacking, going forward. Thing. I kind of feel it doing it's trying to pull uh, the fabric a little bit to the left and that's probably because I don't have everything level here but anyway um, back tack and a look at our results here you can see how thick it is it's raised all the way up but it comes out from under it without any problem at all this machine doesn't have a thread cutter on it. It's no big deal. My industrial machine doesn't either, so I'm kind of used to cutting the threads. Okay, there's our stitch on the outside there. I've got the tension set at five. It's buried up nicely on the back side too. You can see it right there. And so I got a little bit lighter thread. Yeah, a little bit lighter thread in the bobbin that I do in the uh, needle. Uh, but anyway, it does a good job. Um, let's do a, a tacking stitch right here uh, where you hold the pleat together. So I've got a pleat here that's apart, so let's try that real quick. Just do like a quick little zigzag and see how it handles that. Let's see. This is where it's tough without having a knee left on a machine controlling this kind of stuff. You really miss them. Try to keep everything together. The bottom side always wants to come out from under the top side when you do this, so it's probably going to do it no matter what I do here trying to hold it. So. Okay, the foot's fairly high, so I don't know if it's going to hold the tension, but let's give it a try here. Let's do a zigzag stitch. And the width doesn't need to be very wide for our tacking stitch. So I'm going to take it down to let's try 1.5. Sorry, I'm losing my voice today. Here we go. Let's see what happens here. takes to tack it in. I wouldn't be using thread this color or this weight for this either. So it doesn't take that much strength to hold these together. 
Well, I barely caught it back there. I knew this would move back out of the way, but I'll cut the thread here. Get a true view of what it looks like on the front. Fairly invisible if I use matching thread like the yellow here, uh, you wouldn't even notice it. So, it does a good job. On the front side, anyway, I was trying, it was doing a started walking at first, so the back side got a little bit messy. But anyway, anyway, this is the uh, Kenmore 19233, and uh, if you can find one of them, I got this off all brands about a year ago, and I think I paid three. 99 for it or whatever but you know they're they're good machines so what's nice about them they're they're basically genome machines of a current model so all the parts and everything uh, for that machine fit this one that works out well so anyway i was kind of enthused about seeing that so i thought i'd share it with you if you need a home machine want to do drapes uh, this one will handle it so that's it for now if you have any questions let me know take care